Okay, so we are driving. Well, I'm driving right back um, to the house. I let the car stay parked for a little while just in case. Um, and everything looks good on it. The AC is working wonderful. I haven't really stopped at any light. It's only, I was only um, probably not even uh, about a half a mile. So temperature on it is good. Um, so I'm just pulling up to the house. I am going to park the car here and see what happens. Oh shoot, where am I going? Okay, I guess I can't talk and do this at the same time. All right, so let's see here. All right, so I am parked. And I said the AC is still going great. I notice it starts overheating when the AC stops cooling. So like the pump, I don't know what it is, but it seems like it just stops cooling and starts throwing humid air out. And then after that, it's when it kind of um, goes a little haywire. So the RPM isn't moving right now. Everything's good. I have it in normal. Let me put it in sport. Um, oil pressure's still good. Everything's good. RPM's not moving anywhere. I'm still getting some nice cold air here. Um, oh, RPM thing just moved. And... AC just went off. Um, whew. So I, you, you smell that humid air and you can see the RPM moving there right there. So um, I'm not sure how much longer it'll take before it actually starts overheating um, because this is where it starts now to overheat. The, the temperature gauge is right there okay. Everything is okay there. Let's see here what happens. I'll keep running the vet. There goes the RPM again. It moved. It's getting really hot in here. Um, so let's see what happens. And as soon as it starts going up, I will turn off the car again. Um, right now it's half temperature. And like I said, sometimes that RPM gauge will just shoot up to the number. It goes like right now you barely see it moving a little while ago it said Phew, up to two and then it came right back down but it's super hot in here now um so something isn't working and the ac is blowing out hot air and still not getting hot so i guess that's a good sign Okay, I'm gonna be three minutes into the video already, so maybe I'm gonna stop at three minutes. I had to come and park the car because they're gonna get a towed. And wow, that AC is completely off. And it's still showing max AC button, everything is still good. Climate, all the thing is still all good. I got it on five, but it's not blowing that cold air, it's blowing. Um, I don't know kind of hot air and then the oil pressure keeps going up and down so I, I'm assuming the oil pressure is with the RPM going up and down hmm. and so again right now I'm at a complete idle Car is in park. Let's see what happens if I put it in drive. So I'm still at an idle. AC still off. So this is kind of where it starts overheating when you're in parked at a light, long red light, and it just starts to go up. I noticed that first time it said overheat the light. It wasn't even up at the hot because that was the first thing I looked at. It said overheat but it was right where it's at right now at the half point. But AC's not working. And that RPM just keeps going crazy. He's going up and down, up and down. Like it can't can, especially in the mornings too, it does the same thing.
Okay, there goes the um, heat. It's starting to rise. So we got one little line, an additional little line up there. And typically after that, it'll start going up and up. And I guess I will wait for one more little line and then I'm going to turn it off again. There goes another line. All right, starting to overheat again. So I'm gonna turn it off before it goes hot and comes up with the warning light. But that's what happens. Okay, off. It has 27.47.1 miles on it. And it makes a little, it's, it's starting to make like a little, I don't know, weird sound. We just had it serviced in July or June. I forgot when it was, when we were up in Anaheim Hills. 